while Brock is busy making dinner, I'm going to surprise everyone and make dessert. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Brock usually does the cooking, and maybe my past cooking attempts haven't turned out so, um, tasty. But come on, how hard can it be? So I'm gonna make a cake, and they're gonna love it. I'm gonna make them love it. I just have to get out my measuring cups. Let's see. I've got one third of a cup and a one fourth of a cup, and it looks like that's it for the measuring thingamajigs. Time to get started. It says here I need three fourths of a cup of oil. Uh oh, three fourths. I don't have a three fourths measuring cup. What do I do? Um, maybe I should just dump the whole bottle in. No, that can't be right. I'd better call in some backup. Hi, Ada. What's up? Hey, May. I've been in the lab all day and I'm starving. I was just about to have some pizza. How's it going? Good. I'm trying to make a cake and need your help. I need to figure out these measurements. I need to come up with three fourths of a cup of oil, but all I've got is a one fourth cup and one third cup for measuring. No problem. So since you said you need three fourths of a cup and you have a one fourth measuring cup, I'll show you how to add fractions with my pizza. All right, adding is a piece of cake. Well, in my case, pizza pie. See here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six slices. Each slice stands for one sixth of the pie. With you so far, I've used fractions before. That's great. Well, then you'll remember that when we look at the fraction one sixth, the number on the bottom of the fraction is the total number of parts. Right, the denominator. Like with your pizza, the denominator is six because there is six slices of pizza. Exactly. And then the number on the top of the fraction is how many parts we're using out of the total number. And that's the numerator. Excellent. So. The numerator in the fraction one sixth is the number one. You got it. So now to adding. If one piece of pizza is eaten, guess the students here are hungry too. Anyway, that's one sixth of the pie. Okay. So if I eat two slices of pizza, that's two sixths of the pie. Wow. Looks like everyone around here wants pizza. Okay. But what have the students ate in total so far? What if we want to add one sixth and two sixths together? That's adding fractions. You'd write it like this, and then you'd add the numbers in the numerator together. Oh, you mean when the numbers in the denominator are the same, you just add the numbers in the numerator together? Yeah. So you go one sixth plus two sixth equals three sixths. Right. And then you can also reduce three sixths to one half. And here's proof: half of the pizza has been eaten. Make that all the pizza has been eaten, which means six sixths of the pizza is gone, or one whole pizza is out of here. Because whenever the numerator and denominator are the same, they're equal to one. So, like seven sevenths equals one, and nine ninths equals one. You got it. And now I'm really, really hungry, so I'm going to eat this other pizza. But wait, what about if we want to look at the pizza the opposite way? What was left instead of what was eaten? Great question. Let's take a look. Here you see again we have six slices of pizza, and uh, <laughs> that was convenient. So we started with six slices, and now there are five slices missing. So. Six sixth minus five sixth equals one sixth. So when you subtract fractions, if the denominator is the same, you just subtract the numerators. Exactly. So to get the three fourths cup of oil I need, all I have to do is use the one fourth cup three times. May, that was seriously impressive. I think you're ready to make that cake. Thanks. I think so too. Good luck. And now, oh. I'm going out to eat. Okay, let's bake this cake. How many scoops with the one third cup will it take to make two thirds of a cup? Awesome!
Now I need to add one and two thirds cup of sugar. How many scoops with my one third measuring cup will it take to make one and two thirds cup? Yeah, that's right. Okay, now it says I need three and one fourth cups of flour. How many scoops of my one fourth cup will I need? Awesome! All right. All I have to do is mix and bake. Now it says I need to pour the cake into three pans that are the same shape and size. How should I evenly pour the batter? Awesome! Now it's baking time. All right, I iced it and it looks delicious. Now they'll have to take back what they've said about my cooking. Hey May, where have you been? Toiling away in hot kitchen, all for you guys. Aren't I sweet? I baked a cake for dessert. You, you baked? Yes, I baked. Oh no, did we do something wrong? Since when do you know what an oven looks like? Oh come on, really? It's good this time. I got some help. Just try it. All right, we'll give it a try. Let's dig in. That was one delicious dinner. Thanks. Yeah, I'm stuffed. And May, that was actually a really good cake. See, told ya. Must have been a once in a lifetime thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, we have enough leftovers here to last a lifetime. Don't worry, we won't let any go to waste. I brought some containers. Let's figure out which container fits the cake best. What fraction of the cake can fit in this container? Yeah! How much cake is left out of the container? Cool! Drag and drop as many slices in as you can. What fraction of the cake can fit in this container? Way to go! How much of the cake is left out of the container? Way to go! Drag and drop as many slices in as you can. What fraction of the cake can fit in this container? You're right! How much of the cake is left out of the container? You got it! Click on the least number of containers you'll need. Cool! Hey! Amazing job! Thank you! We got all the food packed up to go. But now what are we going to do with it? Who wants to take home the leftover cake? So uh -huh. full. Oh, I'm stuffed. Looks like now we wish we ate a fraction of what we did. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a hint. One third is half of two thirds. Try again. Well, to get one would take three thirds. Then you have to add two more for two thirds. Try again. It takes four scoops of the one fourth cup to get just one cup. And also remember you have to add one more for the extra one fourth. Try again. May has three pans, and she needs to put an equal amount of batter in each one. Try again. Try again. 
What fraction of the cake can fit in this container?